I'm in Northern Virginia this week, visiting our daughter and her family. These are people I really care about, and that got me thinking about the concept of caring. Merriam-Webster's Dictionary defines caring as a disquieted state of mixed uncertainty, apprehension, and responsibility. Well, it's the responsibility that's the functional aspect of care. The other two are associated emotions. In the past 10 years or so, I've coached several leadership teams into crafting purpose statements, a la Roy Spence from his book, It's Not What You Sell, It's What You Stand For. It's a really good book. I recommend it. The majority of them, some form of the word care or caring seemed valuable to the organization. Now, doing my job as a facilitator of clarity, I always kept the author's feet to the fire in getting clear about using the word care or caring and what it meant to each of them personally, and then to the unified leadership message. The conversations, as you might imagine, were diverse and passionate. Care, it seems, to some, is a yes or no thing. To these folks, either one cares or one does not care about a position or a customer or an employee or a philosophy. When challenged to consider what action caring might generate, upon the occurrence of something they purportedly cared about, then caring developed a more gray area between yes and no. Now, how much do I care about something, and what am I willing to do as a responsibility for that care? My family? I give up my life if necessary. Everything. There is no limit. But making a sale? Hey, I'm not going to die in order to get this sale unless not making this sale threatened my income to the point where my family was in jeopardy. See the problem? Where's my care meter on everyday stuff? What am I willing to invest in physical or financial resources to resolve the issue I care about? If I give in to an employee's request for exorbitant personal time off, do I care if I'm perceived as a pushover for caring for the employee? On the flip side, do I care if I'm perceived as an asshat for refusing it and prioritizing caring for the company's goals? What a tightrope. Caring for the employee and caring for the company. It's the small business owner's tug of war. Both seem required and yet sometimes don't seem to be able to occupy the same space. I see the concept of caring as necessary and valuable with enough thought to the myriad synapses between those who care and those who require the care, between the resources needed to care, my life, and the desire to spend those resources? What do you care about at what level? I've discovered over the years that this exercise is a valuable catalyst for self-discovering clarity. It's Kim, and this is another moment of clarity.